my knee really just started to hurt a whole lot and it went from no pain to debilitating pain in three weeks, so much so that as a seven-year-old, I asked my mom to take me to the doctor. Experts at Mayo Clinic diagnosed a rare bone cancer called osteosarcoma. But all I knew of cancer was that people died of cancer, basically. And so when they said cancer, immediately, even though I was seven, I knew this is a bad deal. Will I survive things like that? That is a question no seven-year-old should have to ponder. So treatment for osteosarcoma involves surgery, and chemotherapy. Pediatric oncologist Dr. Carola Arndt and orthopedic surgeon Dr. Franklin Sim led the multidisciplinary team that cared for Shauna. The tumor was in the uh, lower end of the, of the thigh bone. Shauna started chemotherapy and then had surgery, which in the past would have meant amputating her left leg above the knee. Instead, she had what was then a new and groundbreaking procedure called rotationplasty. During the operation, Dr. Sim removes the section of the thigh or femur bone that involves the tumor, as well as the knee and part of the shin bone or tibia. Then he rotates the lower leg and fuses it to the femur. The ankle now becomes the knee. So on this leg, I take it off, and then this is my foot. I'm backwards. It may look a bit strange, but the procedure and prosthesis have allowed Shauna to do just about anything. She says it was surprisingly easy to adjust to her new normal. And as soon as my leg healed, I was walking with the prosthetic, and it took me about 30 seconds to learn how to rewalk. Shauna, who is now 24, has accomplished a lot in the years since her diagnosis and surgery. So I'm 16 years out of cancer now, which seems so crazy, 16 years. And we've seen her uh, grow through her childhood and uh, function that she's been able to do to remain active. And now at, at this stage, she's finished college and uh, she's uh, passing it on, uh, she's giving back. Right after my treatment, when I was eight years old, 1999, my family started mentoring kids with cancer. Then in 2007, with three other families, they started an organization called Brighter Tomorrows. It supports families emotionally, spiritually, educationally, and a little bit financially um, when they're diagnosed with cancer. And we have hundreds of people in our database now. It makes my day. If at the end of the day or during the course of the day, I see a long-term survivor like Shauna, it puts things in perspective and it reminds me, this is why we do what we do helping families with cancer, being an advocate for childhood cancer, helping every single family who walks through the journey so they're not by themselves. Giving back hope, love, and healing.